Alex's top floor. That's where you'll find Snow. He's heading for the throne of the Lassie. Are you planning on stopping me all on your own? Believe me, I have no intention of holding a weapon to you. Rather, I wish to fight by your side. You would betray your patron? Quite the opposite. I wish to save him. I believe you're fighting to free him from his cursed bonds. Isn't that the reason behind your actions? I have the same desire myself. Please, allow me to help. I see. So you want to save Snow too, do you? Fine. But I can't take you with me, okay? You can definitely help me with supplies, though. What do you have? The patron told us that if he finally lost his senses and became a danger to us all, we were to kill him without hesitation. Kill him without hesitation? Snow really said that? Yes, those were his exact words. He also said that we weren't to let him out of the palace, no matter what. He'd have to stay right there, on the throne of the Lassie. All we can hear from the outside are monstrous screams. Screams of such anguish that led me to believe something terrible's happened to the patron. I'm getting readings on snow, and they're coming from the other side of that door. But they're growing weaker every minute. I've never seen so much chaos. It's consuming snow and his power. The door is completely frozen over. Is there another way in? No, it's this or nothing. To burn something or melt it with magic. Do something. I'm not so sure that'll work. This isn't regular ice. Someone conjured it up to keep us out. Or keep whatever's happening inside. Snow. He sealed himself in. So you think there's no way to open it? The chaos reaction is going off the charts. If it continues, this entire palace will be lost to the chaos. Then we have to do something. There must be some way to melt this ice seal. I I'm gonna search the area to see if I can find anything that might help. And I'll try to come up with a plan. There are still several rooms that we haven't investigated yet. Why don't you check them out? I've managed to pull up a map of the palace, and there's a room ahead that seems promising. It's labeled as Snow's Chamber. According to the drawings I have of the palace's layout, this should be Snow's room. Why would there be such a room here? Was it meant to hold Snow, or is it to keep someone else prisoner? sister, wasn't it? If he's left something so precious behind, Light, what if he... You think he's lost it? Forgotten Sarah's love? Or did he just want to keep it safe? Um, I don't follow you. Hope, I have an idea. I'm going back to that door. I want to see if this pendant can break the seal. Do you think the pendant could work as some sort of... key? It better. If it doesn't, then... I guess Snow is just beyond saving. Lightning! You're not serious, right? We need to save him! 
Hang in there, Snow. I'm coming to hear your side of the story. Did you just forget about the pendant? Your only memento of Sarah because you've thrown aside her love? Or did you leave it behind on purpose? To keep her memory safe, untouched by the darkness you step further into every day. That frozen door will give me the answer. If you still love Sarah like you once did, if you're still the snow I used to know, then the pendant will break the seal. But if the door doesn't open, then there is no way left for me to save you. Snow, can you hear me? If you've locked yourself up in there because you thought it was what Sarah would want, think again. Or did you never really know her? The only thing she wanted was you! Don't you abandon her now! Don't deny her that wish! It's the high and mighty savior. You here to bring God's judgment on me? Not like it worked for you before, but you look different this time. Ready to listen to reason? Isn't that my line? Looking at this city, I'd begun to worry that you weren't the snow I once knew. But it looks like nothing will ever change you. Yeah, sorry about last time. I had to test you though. Had to know you were the real lightning. So I left behind Sarah's pendant and sealed myself up in here. I figured that if you were an imposter, you'd never think to use a trinket to bust through that seal. But you knew exactly what that pendant means, and what to do with it. So you really are... our lightning. I'm glad you're real, sis. Now I can put my last worries to rest. I'm not your sister. But you understand like no one else does. I bet you figured out as soon as you saw that room. It's a prison. A nice grave for a monster like me. How can there be this much chaos? It's pretty hard to swallow, huh? Worst thing is, it just keeps on growing. It's all I can do to keep it contained so it doesn't spread. When I destroy this last infusion, that'll be the end of me. I'll be out of power. It's Seath time. But I'm the patron. It's part of the job, keeping everyone safe. <coughs> Kept it at bay all this time. You'll protect him, won't you? There's no need for me. Snow! Stay back! Let me do this! I'm tired of being useless. For 500 years, I watched the world fall into chaos. I watched it die. I couldn't stop it, don't you get that? Give me this last thing. Let me get it right just this once. Damn it, you're not trying to do the right thing. You're running away. You're looking for a way out, a death that's no different than suicide. How can you face Sarah after that? <sighs> Say what you want, Lightning. Nothing is gonna change the fact that I swore to make Sarah happy, and instead I couldn't even keep her from dying! I know I'll never see her again. Snow, stop this! This is what I deserve! I know it, and you know it! So come on! Do your worst! I'm sorry, Lightning. I know it's selfish, but I have to ask you one last favor. Destroy me, my Seath. Destroy you? You've got to be kidding. You, you want me to be your sister, then you say something like that. You're asking too much, Snow. You're asking me to kill you? What's your most valuable treasure? I need 
need more time. The light of your soul is mine. Don't even try. The end is close. See the monster I've become! It's your funeral. On Disappearing. Snowshare is something, isn't he? He swallowed up all that chaos and kept it at bay. He sacrificed himself to keep the city safe. And his only reward was to turn into a monster. How about you do him a favor? Do what he asked. That thing's not even him anymore. It's kinder to put it out of its misery. Yep, Snow's gone. And you know what? The only hope for his soul lies in death. So that's it. Oh, that is good. I bet he became a thief right now because he wanted you to kill him. You know nothing about Snow. <gasps> <sighs> Come back! Snow! Who uh, knows nothing about Snow now? You said you understood his pain, didn't you? Like, you know what the past 500 years were like. Every day blaming himself for Sarah, trying to fix the world. He's been fighting to protect people while you snoozed away in a dream world. He really was relieved that you decided to wake up and get back to the world of the living. I bet he thought he could finally put an end to his misery. He drew on every last bit of strength and threw himself into the darkness. So why don't you just set him free already? Don't you think that's what Sarah would want? I wanna... I want to save you, make you free, but uh, I just don't know how. Sarah would know. I know she would. If she was just here now, she'd find a way to reach and bring you back. much we wish she was, and I can't be what she was. Snow, the only thing I can do is do what you asked of me. But please, don't let your feelings for Sarah disappear into the chaos. She never stopped believing in you. No matter how far away your journey took you, or how long you stayed apart, she thought she would be with you again! I know she still believes it now! Her soul is dreaming of being with you again right now, you stupid fool! If you're not here anymore, then what is my sister supposed to come home to? No, I'm begging you. You have to live! I need you, 
now to bring Sarah back. Second there, I thought you cared. You only want me around so I can bring Sarah back? Oh, my good looks and charm aren't reason enough. Yeah, right. With that hair. <laughs> Damn it, Light. You always were a hard case. Spent how many centuries watching the world slip away from me? And even when I give everything I got to protect it, I don't get a single thanks. <laughs> so I finally say enough is enough. Look for a nice place to die, and you ruin that too. Sorry about that. You were forced to hold down the fort a long time. It was my fault. <laughs> you gonna make it up to me? Don't get too cocky. Listen, Snow. The world is ending, and soon there's no way for any of us to stop it. But don't give up. You've got to believe. Believe that even when this world ends, a new world will be born from the ashes. That's where we'll find hope again. It won't die with the world. I'll make sure of that. Trust me. I just need more time. I need you. I know, I know. To save the day. I'm on it, sis. I'm still the patron of you, Snan, right? You sure are hard with your friends, you know that? What if you'd killed me? We'd have trouble facing Sarah then. I knew you'd be fine. You're too stubborn to die. Take care of Sarah. Please, help her find a way back. Stay strong. Someday you'll be all she has. Oh, when you put it like that, guess I got no choice but to do what I can. I don't know what I can really do. Sure, Lightning says bring me back. But would you even want to come with me? I'm the guy who couldn't keep a single promise. Do you still want me, Sarah? Not like you can answer me. So do I just wait? No, I'm gonna bring you home, like a real hero.